Welcome viewers. Today's session is Microsoft Excel tutorial on doing analysis of KSAOs or Interrater Reliable. In this session of Microsoft Excel, we will discuss how to evaluate subject matter expert critical rating. For example, you have a task KSAO analysis. There are different tasks uh, for your company or a project and you want to analyze which of the task is very important and which of the task can be postponed. For example, KSAO stands for uh, knowledge, skills, abilities and other characteristics. Or if you want to obtain standard deviation or mean to evaluate different opinions about something. Or how to evaluate enter rate reliability. Like in pilot testing, when we are conducting pilot testing of tools, so we do enter rate reliability. So how to do that in MS Excel. Or how to evaluate opinion of different people related to a task our activity or initiative for example you are starting an initiative or a project or a task and you want to evaluate opinion of different people so how you can do that easily in microsoft excel up or if you have a decision to make or if you are going to select a name for a project or a business so how you can use microsoft excel to analyze all these different scenarios to to come up with a final conclusion so let's start This is example one. For example, you have listed down some task and you are confused to decide which of the task is very important and which is not that much important. So you have some subject matter experts or different project staff or business colleagues and you want to discuss with them. So uh, here you have to list down the task after that. For example, you have 10 writer or 10 subject matter expert or if you have five, no issue, or three or two, whichever number you have you have to list down the task here and here uh, you ask the writer one to rate these tasks from one to five one is the lowest and five is the highest so they start for example uh, trying to rate these and after that when they provide you their rating so you have to type those rating here in microsoft excel these were the tasks writer one provided you these rating um about these tasks rater 2 rating then rater 3 rater 4 so now the mean and standard deviation is going to provide you the uh, required info as which of these tasks is uh, much more important and which of these tasks are not so what you have to do list down the task then ask the raters they will provide you their rating so type those rater 1 rater 2 ratings here and now here we will first obtain the mean and then we will obtain the standard deviation so how to obtain a mean for such type of activities simple is equal to in excel we use average for mean average and then you have to range this these ratings are uh, against the first task this is 4.2 from 1 to 5 the rating for this task is 4.2 let's copy and paste it copy with control c and paste it with control v below so you can see this task has got highest rating overall also it's five you can see that this is on the top this is on the second this is third and this is also third and this is the fourth now standard deviation what is standard deviation standard deviation is basically providing you the information that how much your data is spread um around the average or the mean so for standard deviation we use s s t d e v so there are different um formulas for standard deviation here you can see you can just select s t d e v or you can select s t d e v dot s which is for this sample this is our sample so you can select s t d e v or you can simply select stdev we will try both of them you will see now so this is stdev.s small bracket and then range all the ratings and now here you can see that the rating of different experts around this average is 0 0.63 copy control c paste 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 now here you can see it's zero 
there is zero standard deviation because everyone has responded with five highest rating so the average is five so obviously there is zero standard deviation it means that this task is the most important one according to the different subject matter experts now this one you can see here also the standard deviation is not that much it's 0 0.6 here the standard deviation is 1 almost 1 uh, point the data is spread almost for example here you can see that uh, these three raters have given 5 rating but here you can see 3 here you can see 2 so there are totally different opinions according to the uh, for this task so that's why here you can see the standard deviation is uh, above 1 here also the standard deviation is the highest one 1.8 why because here you can see this rater says 5 here it says 1 so there is a lot of difference uh, uh, um, on the opinion so both these means and standard deviation provide information to explore the data and see uh, where we are for example this there is another example you have some questions in a tool or you have some different um, areas and you want to assess the same thing uh, the different people opinion about that so same procedure you have to follow just uh, first uh, identify the writers the uh, people who will provide you the opinion and after that ask them to rate these different questions or different areas and when you combine all those areas so just bring the whole uh, situation here and here you can obtain mean and then standard deviation now you can analyze this data in some other ways also for example how many there are 10 raters so how many raters have provided five rating for this task you can analyze and explore the data like this also so here you can type count if small bracket range this these uh, ratings comma and the criteria is five count all those who have given five rating three there are three subject matter experts are people who have given five rating to, the, to this task so you can see in this way also three copy and paste it below in this one you can see 10 of the raters have given five rating to this task so five rating and the total raters are total are 10 so you can type it here and then you can divide this uh, count of uh, five rating divided by the total rater. So here also you can obtain a different perspective. Here you can see this one is 100%. Everyone says this is the most important. Here you can see 50-50. This is only 30% of the raters have given it. You can analyze it. Uh, in this way also 1 to 2 rating for example if you want to know which of the tasks have got mostly 1 or 2 rating so you can do it like that also and for that also you can calculate count ifs small bracket range this and then for criteria say lesser than 3 whoever has given lesser than 3 rating sorry lesser than 3 so here you can see that no one has given lesser than 3 rating to this task 0 now here you can see this task has got 5 lesser than 3 ratings and here let's analyze it on this way also here also you see the mean is also not that much 2.8 only and the standard deviation is also the highest so these are different techniques to find out which of the task or activity has got highest score and which of the task or activity has got lowest score so here you can see according to this criteria one or two rating this task is zero it means it is the most important one this one is also zero this one has got one this one has got five so this is the weak so in this way you can identify 
uh, with mean standard deviation or with calculating count if you can analyze the different opinions and then come up with a conclusion about a task or activity whether that's helping or not if you like the video so kindly click the like button share it and subscribe the channel thank you so much for watching dear viewers we have started this youtube channel there are free of cost learning tutorial on if you want to learn microsoft excel microsoft access powerpoint ms word other learning tips so we have detailed playlist and there are hundreds of tutorials on microsoft excel uh, microsoft powerpoint how to design presentation microsoft access how to do an update databases and manage data online data collection learning google form kobo ms forms if you visit this channel you can find lots of video tutorial kindly support us visit the channel for example in ms excel you will find these sessions in a proper sequence for example in ms excel playlist we have this basic session and then session two three four so if you start learning these sessions so from the start you can go ahead and you will find in a sequence sessions on microsoft basics data analysis conditional format pivot tables use of if uh, concatenate formulas dependent drop down list validation name managers v lookup x lookup function f function uh, advanced use of count f in some ifs how to find duplicates tricks and tips related to microsoft excel how to develop search boxes searchable drop down list aggregate functions tracking performance of the projects or any other uh, analysis of research that you have conducted for example school going and other such studies there are session on uh, how to develop beautiful charts, attractive charts, speedometers, uh, dashboards in Microsoft Excel. Similarly, in PowerPoint, also you will find how to design beautiful presentation in PowerPoint, how to do in MS Access. Also, you will find all these session in prop sequence. Uh, the Access tutorials playlist. Here are almost eight sessions. Uh, in session one, you will find the basics how to create tables, queries, forms, and then you will go on with advanced options in Microsoft Access. Similarly, you will find tutorial on how to uh, collect online data, Google Form, uh, Kobo, uh, MS Form. Uh, you will find also the use of MS Word, the mail merge functions. There are session on SPSS also. So you can learn SPSS if you need to do some analysis in SPSS. There is a series on project management also, how to conduct need assessment studies. Kindly support us, visit the channel, watch, learn and improve your productivity. Thank you so much.